WIDR Kalamazoo. Stay tuned for Radio Evolution. Hello, guys. Today, we're the doghouse. We are the doghouse every day, but today especially. And I'm Mads. I'm Khan. And I'm Corey. And together, we're the doghouse. <laughs> for this special... This is a special episode, folks. Do you want to... It's special because we have Corey Asterman of the Western That's Herald. true. Oh my Editor gosh. In chief. That's true. <laughs> Feeling campus, so honored. Campus celebrity in the house. <laughs> and we're going to be talking about nothing related to the newspaper. We're going to be talking about plants. That is fine by me. <laughs> we're going to be talking about... This is the plant tier list episode, folks. There's going to be heated discussion here. And I have very strong opinions on plants. The best plants, the worst plants. We've got them all. What's your favorite plant, Con? My favorite plant? Um, moss. Interesting. Good one. Good I felt one. like you were going to say that's not a plant for a second. No, I kind of, like, I, that's, I'm just mad you stole that one. That's absolutely <laughs> like, a What plant. if that was my favorite? What, what I mean, is your favorite? You can share. Um, hmm. I really like bonsai trees. Ooh, that's a fun one. That is good. Corey, do you have a favorite? Um, I like the dahlia. Ooh. Yes. I think. Can you describe that one for me? I don't know if I know this one. I have a tattoo of a dahlia. I do too. <laughs> Yo. Yes. Dahlia tattoos unite. It's just like a very nice flower. Is it? The, okay. It's a big, flower. Okay. Yeah, they have a big head. It's got layers. Color? What's the color? It, any color. Ooh. Pinks, It yellows. can be all the colors. Yeah. Well, let's start off by ranking those three. Um, what do you think about, let's start with moss. I, I rate moss, I think, I think A tier. A tier? And I can defend wow. this. All right. Uh, I don't know. Bonsai trees are kind of. Well, they can share the same one. We're not, they're not like going up against each oh, other necessarily. Okay. Like they can only be in A or something. You know what I'm saying? I guess I don't really know how tier lists work. A tier list works. <laughs> <laughs> For the folks at home, a tier <laughs> and list, for the folks here, <laughs> a tier list is a list of different items, and you rank them on a scale of it's like it's like a grading scale, you know, A, B, C, D, F, and then there's also S tier, which is like that's the that's the top of the top right there. But why? Why? Yes. Why, why is S at the top? The, I don't know the history of this. <laughs> Maybe we can get our superstar. Superstar is A S. <laughs> Yeah, uh, there's probably something. We'll look yeah. this up for next episode, guys. I'm sorry. You know nothing <laughs> we're, about tier lists. We're just we're just here. We're yeah, we're posers, man. Just want to talk know. about plants. We're talking about okay, so they can share the same level. Okay. So all these could be an A tier. Mm-hmm. You just have to defend why it should be in the tier it is. I feel like they might all be A tiers since there oh. are favorites, and we have not yet discovered what the S tier is, but <laughs> we'll probably think of it. <laughs> yeah, I would also talking. say that a bonsai is A tier. This can be this can be our like control group, okay. these three, and then we'll compare things against it. I like the scientific order. It kind of helps. The bonsai, the dahlia, <laughs> and moss. <laughs> yes. <laughs> moss, bonds. <laughs> doll. Perfect. Okay. Um, let's think of, let's think of some basic ones, like a, like a, like grass, you know? Grass is a pretty common plant. You know what's the, the worst most- grass? Crab grass. So bad. It's bad? <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's pokey. It hurts. And really? it's invasive. Mm-hmm. It'll destroy your lawn, all the nice grasses. Here's some fun That's facts. That's like F. Crab some fun grass. Facts yes. Okay, I'll, I'll allow that one. <laughs> I think it should be D. I think we can think of worse ones. What? I think we can think of worse plants. Oh, yeah, like poison ivy? Yes. I think... Mm, true. I think crab... It's just spiky, right? Yeah, but it, like, hurts. D? D tier? I feel like D is tier. Fire. Okay. Wow. Like, if you step on it, it's not going to, like, give you a reaction. Unless you're like, but... Yeah. All right. Crab. Just a little uncomfy. <laughs> Perfect. I have some fun facts so, you tell. Um, grass is, uh, they like grow in lawns, right? Because the lawns are such a bad environment for plants to grow in. Because they need like lots of water. You need to keep watering a lawn so that it grows. And if you just let it exist on its own, it'd have like so much more like diversity in the plants that grow there. 
but due to the lawn industry, it's kind of been marketed that you should only have grass there. It's actually a really bad environment for plants. And mosses, moss lawns are pretty cool. This, this reminded me of clovers. Clovers, Clover lawn. clovers are designated yes. as a weed by the weed killer businesses. Even though it's just a plant. Not cool. I think we should have more clovers. No clover discrimination around here. And they're lucky. Right. If you find the right clover, it's good luck. Oh, yeah. That's so cool. Ooh. So this plant has like a little bit of, you know, it's got some mythology and it could be <laughs> lucky. That's kind of cool. Do you think like that's a, you think that's an A? What's a, what's a clover in your book? Hmm. It might have to be a B just because of that discrimination. Ooh. I feel like it's because classified it's as a we- it maybe because it it has already it's has got some negative connotations. Exactly. Mm. But I don't know. I disagree with these connotations. I don't know. But I'll I'll put it there for now. We can debate. This we got later. a we got a lot more plants to get into. We got so. lots of plants. We got clover. Okay. And feel free to name out a plant if you have one. What about Apothos? Apothos? Mm-hmm. That is a good one. Describe this plant. It's everybody's favorite. Or, you know, they're just like, not maybe not everybody's favorite, but they're just the most, like, easygoing. Like, anybody can take care of Apothos, and I actually believe that. Mm. Everybody's favorite house plant. Yes. If you're new to plants, you can take care of Apothos. Mm. Yes. I'd say that's a B, then. I think it's a B because it's simple and easy. And it's like a starter plant, and then you can graduate to other plants above it. That's probably true. There. Okay, okay. We're, we're getting this list done, guys. I know. We're, we're doing a really good job. Hmm. Other plants. Do you want to... We could talk about trees, or we could talk about specific trees. In well, there. I did already bring up bonsai trees, so maybe we're already in specific tree territory. True, true. Very true. Magnolia tree. Magnolia? Mm-hmm. Can you describe what that looks like? They are, it's a tree, but it blossoms with these white and pink, like, flowers. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Aren't those the ones that smell kind of bad, though? Ooh. Those are different, I think. I know exactly the tree you're talking about. <laughs> those are terrible. They're actually really bad. The magnolias have big flowers, and those ones have little white ones, mm-hmm. like this Okay, big. are those the Americanized Japanese cherry blossoms? I think... So? Here's the deal with those. They, um, Americans love Japanese cherry blossoms. They bloom once a year, only for like a week or two, week or two, and they're absolutely gorgeous. So we brought them over to the States, and we didn't want them getting everywhere and making more Japanese cherry blossoms. So they only planted one gender of the oh, tree. So they can't. And that spread. is why they smell so bad. Calorie trees? Yes. Okay. Calorie tree. What is the calorie tree? Is it's that- either, I think they only planted male or only planted female versions mm-hmm. of the tree, and that's why when they bloom, you're just like, that is very pretty, but it's not. I it's think very that's, not nice to be around. I think that's the first seed tree, because it's only bad like one day of the year. True. Yeah. True. I would agree. Okay. And what, what did you call that again? American. Calorie? Calorie tree. Mm-hmm. They're also called pear trees sometimes, not because they have pears, but because they have like a pear shape to them. That's that's a terrible name. Then. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this is the banana tree. Just curvy. <laughs> <laughs> curvy tree. There's some tree that like um, it like moves and it'll like walk because it's like in a, <laughs> in a swamp. And it'll like travel around in the swamp. Swamp tree. I don't know the migrating tree. That's a real tree. I think that's real. Interesting. Never heard of that. Um, I see I your do. walking tree and raise you the weeping willow. Ooh. <gasps> that's my mom's favorite. It's a good one. It is. Classic. They it's have a the, classic. Oh, milkworms or milkweed worms. Mm-hmm. Those? I don't know. I think that's an A tier. <laughs> Just right is out the it? gate. It's known for being really cool, and it has no negatives, and lots of people love it. Name one bad thing about it. They die so easily. <laughs> Ooh, that's, that's real. They're really hard. 
to keep alive, especially in Michigan. I do have a memory of this giant one in this very barren field oh. that was behind my grandparents' like backyard. There's like mm-hmm. their backyard, and then there was this field, and there was one huge willow tree. And it's like, how the heck did it just like live so long? No mm. water around? No. That's crazy. <laughs> it finds a way, man. It'll, it'll live. I'll put it as a B tier, though. Mm. Oh, I got another tree. You're it's a photographer, tree. Mads. Mm-hmm. How many grad photos have you taken in front of birch tree? Oh, <laughs> my gosh. So, so many. Boy, uh, my boyfriend's favorite tree is the birch tree. And I, every time he sees them, he's like, I love that tree. But he never can remember what it is. I'm like, it's, just, it's the same really? tree you always say you love. He forgets the word birch. Yeah, it's just the birch tree. And the other <laughs> interesting thing about birch trees in Michigan, particularly, I, I learned about this way when I was like a child. So none of this could be true. But I, I, think, I think it's interesting. Um, mm-hmm. Native Americans in Michigan, particularly when I learned Native American history as a young child, uh, they used the birch bark to make canoes and like oh, housing. I've heard about. And this. I think that's so cool because it's so strong and it doesn't mm-hmm. like burn the same way that right. like, bark burns. So yeah, I think that's an it's a pretty good tree. Caveat, yeah. That one has that one's like a willow in that it really looks cool and it's memorable, but mm-hmm. it also has a use, and I feel like it's durable. Yeah, that's very true. Is that an A tier for you? Is that an A tree? I feel like we've got a lot of A tiers. No, we don't. We have only our three. <laughs> our favorites. Yeah. Mm. All right. This a is the birch tree. We might have to go in A tier. I like birch. Yeah. A tier. Who knew? <laughs> what about a Japanese maple? Japanese maple. Mm. I don't know that I know that much about Japanese maple. They have these small, um, it's like a red, five star, very fiery red leaves. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, I think they're five star, but uh, but they're they're really cool looking. They are. Um, I don't know. I would tear that one high, but not, maybe I'm biased because I. <laughs> mm. Well, why would you tear it high? Because the we've established because the, the birch. fiery red. True. Like I'm a Michigan fall girly, and I mm. love the mm. the reds. It's giving O Canada a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> True. That is their flag. Well, they could have chose anything, and they put a leaf on it. <laughs> That's kind of pure. It is. Good. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> the Canadian flag is one of my favorite flags. That's, that's that's for the flag tier list. We'll join us next week for <laughs> breaking the flags. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, hmm. Is it maybe a B then? I would side with Corey. <laughs> I would mm. side with him. Because it looks cool, like a birch, but I don't know how useful it is. What do you mean? They're cool. <laughs> <laughs> Do they make canoes out of them, though? No, but, like, look at how... <laughs> oh, I am being shown a picture. That is... That's a cool tree. <laughs> <laughs> Let me it, see this picture. I was unaware. Because of, like, okay. the, the roots. That is true. The colors <laughs> may be edited in this photo, folks. We I show... No, look at all the other <laughs> pictures. Those are pretty nice. <laughs> like, the way that the branches curve is insane. All right, B tier. <laughs> <laughs> I convinced them. <laughs> okay, we need. Okay, we need to step out of trees. I think for a second. Should we rapid fire other trees and then? <laughs> <laughs> rapid fire. I don't know if I know. The other much. plants. What about an oak tree with the acorns? Yeah, it's, it's a C. Ooh. It's regular. Yeah. Oak. But acorns get everywhere. So is a pine. <laughs> A pine tree is C tier. Yeah, I know they're Christmas trees, but like, like, honestly, I went to Washington and I saw gigantic pine trees mm-hmm. for the first time in my mm-hmm. life, and I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> pine trees are so cool. I like how they they don't lose their leaves in the morning. They're just green. They're just they always them. <laughs> That's I'm, very true. I'd throw it into B. Okay. <laughs> the B tier is so That's fine. large. That's fine. <laughs> Okay, what about a redwood? Oh, that's, I think that's an S tier. That's the biggest tree in the world. You think? 
Yes. The fact that you can walk through them. Right. It's oh. just. You can go into like the national park and they have like a tunnel that goes through yeah. one. Yeah. That is oh. pretty cool. <laughs> I think that, I think that is an S tier though. I would be able to argue that. You know, that one is probably S tier. Okay. It has this, it's like a plant superhero, you know? It's got this amazing strength and size on parallel. It's like millions of years old, probably. So true. You're like, think of a cool tree. Redwood's up there. I'm doing it. That wins. <laughs> okay. Well, now we've got a tree in S tier, so we can move on from trees. True, true. <laughs> want to stay in the house plant range because i feel like we have only like the pothos over there let me let me pull up plants what about like a succulent Ooh. succulent and we could do all succulents they or suck, like cacti or yeah people tell you to get a succulent as like a starter plant no. they're actually so hard to take care of Ooh. if you don't have a lot of sun wait like is it worse than a pot house Pothos, was it? Pothos? pothos? Pothos are so easy to take care of. So it's worse than a pothos. Yes. So it's a C tier. It might be like D tier. Wow, crabgrass level. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Really? Yes. Okay. Because yes. Here, here's the thing. Like, you get them and you're like, oh, it's so like pretty. It's got all the pretty colors. They're very it's cute. Purple, green. It's very And then tiny. they trick you and then they suck. <laughs> Exactly, and then they suck because you can never give them enough sun here in Michigan to, right. like, give them all the life that they need. And you can't water it to, like, make things better. Mm -hmm. It's just going to keep dying on you indefinitely. As soon as you water it, it actually starts rotting. And it's like, Ooh. I didn't need to drink any water. Thank you for killing me. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So They're okay. so dramatic. That's that's an interesting deed to you. <laughs> what about uh, a Montserrat? Those are cool. They are. I don't I like those. I don't know how they're going to keep. They're like large, and I have a friend who has one. I also have that same friend that has one. Yeah, it's a mutual friend. First episode <laughs> of the podcast. Wow. <laughs> Watch it. It yeah. has a monster, and it's pretty big. Um, I I don't know. I uh, I don't have one, so I can't say. I think they're cool looking. Well, I, don't I don't have a really have an opinion. <laughs> I think C. Yeah. C? I feel like if none of us care, it automatically goes in C. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Sorry, Monsera fans. Um, what about the aloe vera? Oh, that one. That I is think a that's cool plant. A that one has like properties to the it. The healing that, like, properties. Healing. That's a good that one. They're not too terrible. They are technically in the cactus family, but they're not that bad to take care of. I like of. cactuses too. We'll get yeah. to that. No, they just live. They just keep going. I think I think those are easy plants. Yeah, I think. Well, do you do you say an A? I'm saying A for now. All a right. for now. We'll put it there. Hello. Mm. Now let's bring it back to cactus. I want to talk about cacti. Oh. On the defensive. Let's just talk about cactus generally, you know, because I don't <laughs> think I could name an individual cactus. That's fair. Oliver. Have you seen the ones in the greenhouse at WMU? Oh, of course. They're so huge. If you haven't gone to this greenhouse on campus, you should. Highly they recommended. Extending outside the building. It's insane. Check it out. What is that building called? Like the actual name? Finch Greenhouse. Yes. Go check mm -hmm. it out. Check it out. They love people there, I think. At least yeah. they didn't mind us. Fun fact, they play 89.1 Wider FM 24-7 in there yeah. for the plants. And you're listening to 89.1 <laughs> Wider FM right now. The plants are listening to this podcast. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you think they're going to be offended if we talk about <laughs> oh, I never even thought oh, about no. that. They're listening and they're like, of course they put redwood in there. Please keep <laughs> growing Finch Greenhouse plants. We love you all equally. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> but, all right. Cactus, a general cactus. It's thorny. I kind of like it. I think it's cool. Like, if you don't mess with it, it won't mess with you. Mm. I'd True. Say, <laughs> what about a, what about a bee? Mm -mm. No? No, it's another one that I have, like, no opinion about, because it's, like... You can appreciate how, how it has a defense mechanism, though. It's kind of cool. Yeah, maybe but C. Do we want our plants to be 
Well, defensive. We, we can appreciate it. It's just like I don't like it the crab cool. grass. Why do I like the cactus? You know, like like people, we too can be defensive sometimes, and that's okay. Mm. <laughs> All right. You know what? Plants are also kind of terrible. What? <laughs> the peace lily. Oh peacefully. my gosh. <laughs> Not so peaceful. There's yes, there's nothing peaceful about that peaceful. No. What's, it, what's it do? What's it up? What's up with it? It is the I think the worst plant to have in a house if you have pets. Super really? poisonous. Oh my god. Cats and dogs. And they both like to eat them. And it's very hard to like regulate it. Like it just gets very upset no matter what you do. Like if it's too dry, it's mad. It's too wet. So it's mad. It's living in your house. It's bad to take care of, and it'll kill your animals. Exactly. That's why there's one in the Western Herald office. <laughs> I got a cat and had to remove oh, the peace no. lily from my apartment. I think that's our first F tier. <laughs> Honestly, that plant it's doing like it well sucks. in the office, it though. Does, yeah, that one's doing so well. And people in like that plant, so. Well, maybe that one is like A tier, but most of them are like F tier. Like my <laughs> grandma gave me one that she had had for like 20 years and I took great care of it and it just, and then it started like rooting itself out of the pot. So I was like, mm-hmm. okay. Needs they do try to escape. Exactly. I was like, needs bigger pot, puts it in a bigger pot and immediately dies. I'm like, okay, <laughs> aerated soil. Puts it in aerated soil, dies more. <laughs> I'm like, all right, now it's like completely dead. My grandma had it for 20 years, and I feel bad that the plant is dead. I think it was a female plant, too. Oh. I'm like, oh no, this is yeah, like. They also are just have sad connotations because you only can get them from funerals. <laughs> exactly. So I just look at this plant and I think of death. Yes. <sighs> yeah, death That's plant. Enough too. Dramatic. What's it called? Peace Lily. Peace Lily. Barring the one in the Western Herald office, Peace Lilies are terrible. <laughs> um, sources tell me you have a Obama plant. Can you, Do. <laughs> Please tell Obama the story. Obama plant is an absolute legend in my apartment. Ooh, a um, plant celebrity. Plant celebrity, if you will. The Western Herald knows all about it. And a few of them have met Obama plant. I've had the honor. You did a very exclusive meeting with Obama plant. But um, President Barack Obama used to keep a plant in his office when he was in the White House. And he would give cuttings of it to other people that he knew. And the president of Western, Dr. Edward Montgomery, received one of these Obama plant cuttings at some point. And that got... Part of that one was given to someone on one of the construction teams here. I'm not sure how that transfer was made, but an acquaintance of my roommate used to work for that person. (laughs) So he got a cutting of Obama plant because it was dying. And my roommate is very good with plants. So now we have a piece of Obama plant (laughs) who is absolutely thriving (laughs) in our apartment in Kalamazoo. Wow. That's that's a piece of history for It is quite the trail, but Obama plant lives on. What kind of plant is it? I think it's a povos. Mm. A povos for the provost. Yes. (laughs) Uh, It's actually the president. Well, it wouldn't go with the rhyme. Would it? <laughs> sure, we're here for the rhymes. But it's, That's what everybody's here. It's one of those plants that you can like just take cuttings of and give to other people, and then they can grow their own. So generations of Obama plant later, but it is alive. I, I like the story of Obama plant, <laughs> and I think we should put him on the list just as his own thing. <laughs> just its own tier. I'm making Obama it. plant. True. He's kind of us here, like goaded plant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Obama. Not sure how many Obama plants there are out there or who got cuttings, but. Yeah, but it's like a, they're all family. But yeah. you're probably one of the younger groups of people that have Obama plant. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I one of his daughters has one. Montgomery like, gave. I guess, I guess like whatever Obama plant. plant away, but. <laughs> Whatever plant like Obama has in his house is an Obama plant, I guess, right? I don't know. He owns it. But not he doesn't give everybody, you know, this one's legendary because he gives to people. True. 
I, wonder... I think other presidents have done it as well, but if I'm going to get a plant from a president, Obama's a pretty cool person <laughs> to have plant cuttings from. Yeah. This is, you know, the podcast can take any time. We'll talk about plants, and now we're talking about politics. <laughs> we're talking... My bad. <laughs> we're talking politics. <laughs> we're talking pollen... <laughs> No, it was good. You should have finished it. Sorry, it's all, all, the, all the jokes. Listen. But I'm Tiss. Listen, this is the only day of my week I can talk this much. <laughs> so I'm letting it all out. You right look now. forward to it. <laughs> huh, okay. So, we've got specialty How- plants. We've got house plants. We've got... Can I throw out some special plants? Do sure. it. The corpse flower. You know, like corpse flower. Is that the one that smells horrendous? It smells like a corpse. You got it. I I don't know what a corpse flower is. I oh, do not want to come across that. They I'm... look like uh, an alien plant, and they they're large. They look really crazy, and they smell really oh bad. Oh my god! <laughs> Did you just look up a picture? Yes. The correct name is Titan Ar- Arium. Can you describe what it looks like to the viewers? It has a green stem, a purple flower, and a giant like spike protruding out of the center of it. Yeah. And they're actually huge. So they scary are. looking. <laughs> they're really big and they're really smelly. Yeah. That one's kind of weird. Are I, they carnivores? Question mark? Uh, um, I can imagine a squirrel falling in that thing. I think they're like Venus flytrap level. Like things fall into... The pitcher of the plant. Mm-hmm. It says and it eats the corpse them. flower doesn't actually eat me. No. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Um, okay, scrap that. But <laughs> on that, Venus fly drops. Well, actually, where do we tear we corpse races. flower? Um high because it's so legendary, but low because Ooh. of how horrible it is. True. It's like I really don't C-tier, know. C tier then? Everything's the C tier. <laughs> There's only like five things there. Actually uh, four. But but the most. It's got the most. No. Okay, let's do C tier is the most actually. C tier. C tier. Corpse flower. Then Let we can see. go to Venus flytraps. Venus flytraps. I really like them. They're funny, and they eat flies. Have you ever owned one though? Yes. They're not that great to take care of. Exactly. I I put flies in its mouth. What do you mean? Did it live? Yeah. For how long? I don't know, like a year, I guess. Couple weeks. <laughs> You had a Venus flytrap that, like, lived? Yes. Did well, you have to feed wild. it, or did it, like, eat the flies itself? Well, sometimes it would grab one, but sometimes I'd, like, put one in its mouth. <laughs> I'd be like, are you hungry? Huh. <laughs> I don't Those know. ones are so strange. Maybe I was just I've never had one live for more than, one. like, a month. <laughs> yeah. I, I treat it like a dog sometimes. I'd go out for walks, no. <laughs> but I would give it treats. <laughs> What? Does taking your plants for walks help them want to live? Um, no. Talking to them does, though. Yeah, talking to them, playing Isn't music that for funny? them. I think that they don't like change, though. Relocation oh, is not... Oh, all plants hate change, I think. Mm-hmm. Like, they just want to live on a pot <laughs> and stay in the same place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the life. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I aspire for that. The lives of plants and animals is like best ever. That's what I need. <laughs> you need to be a plant or an animal. Yes. You are an animal. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Oh. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a plant. I'm an industry plant. <laughs> <laughs> they, they put me here. Oh no. <laughs> they put you here. Yeah. I'm trying to make money off this. <laughs> Bad. Is the F tier plant the industry <laughs> industry plant? Oh, okay. Industry plant. Okay. Perfect. Feels like none of those. Khan is writing on a whiteboard, <laughs> and none of the markers are working. They work, but we're just like talking. Who are we writing so, this like, for? Also, <laughs> I'm gonna take a picture of this. Oh, okay. Maybe I can get it for the socials. Like our, this can be like the album art for the episode. Ah. Pros. I think our album art's better than that picture. We can, we can have both on the YouTube <laughs> <laughs> for one episode. You okay, dingus. Okay, fine. Did you call me a dingus? I did call you a dingus. Rude. That's the only insult I can say on air. <laughs> it's probably true. You donk. <laughs> wow. 
Settle down over there. We'll see which one they. <laughs> I'm being mean. Okay, I have another specialty plant. Okay, what's the plant? The giant water lily from Bolivia. It is a lily. bucket list item of mine. Oh yeah, lily to pads. Lay I do like. On one I of do these like lily giant pads lily pads. Oh, you can't though. They, they like are fall. no. They are big enough to support like 120 pounds really? of weight if you lay flat. And I just, I feel like that would be so amazing. <laughs> All right. That is amazing. I th- I think they're pretty cool. True. Is that a child, though? Yeah, well, mm. but she said about 120 pounds. So oh, true. A child could fit on I it. I could be child-sized. Yeah, Corey's child-sized. I can do it. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd rank that a, I think that's a, either a B a bee, maybe. Mm-hmm. That's fair. They are spiky on the bottom, so if you Ooh. touch them, you get, like, itchy. Ooh, okay. You ever ripped up a lily pad and gotten kind of, like, tingly mm-hmm. on I, your fingertips? I like the image in my brain of frogs on them. I like that image. Yes. Very cute. Yeah. Th- that made me think of uh, poison ivy, though. Oof. That's an F tier. F. We didn't say that already? No. I mean, we mentioned it, but we didn't, like, actually Oh, it's definitely it. F. No doubt. I forgot to bring up my favorite flower. Okay, what is it? Daffodil. Hmm. Because it's like Good. the first sign of spring. Real spring. It's like the yellow daffodils bloom. And there's actually so many on Western's campus that it's like quite fun to see them come out. I would rank that like B tier, to be honest. But that's just It's me. your favorite flower and you're going to put it in B? Well... <laughs> All right, A tiers. I was being generous. Like I feel like mm-hmm. we can't make everything. A-tier. Um. Ah, uh, no, it's a, it's definitely A tier. You're right. Plants are wonderful. They should all be A tier unless they try to hurt us, like poison ivy. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is uh, what was it called again? <laughs> Daffodil. Daffodil. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's. Are they related to the crocodile in any way? No. Okay. One is a dial, I'm just, one I'm is just a trying things, man. I'm throwing darts at the board. Crocodile right does remind me of the Snapdragon, though. Snapdragon? Snapdragon. Tell me about that one. I, it's it's a plant. It's a flower. It snaps. And it's got, like, a little mouth. And if what? you squeeze the sides, it, like, will open and close. Ooh, that's a fun one. Like a little mouth. I think... Oh, I've seen these. I yes. think B-tier. They're very cute. Plant. Snapdragon. Ooh. And they're very, like, the color profiles of them are very They can pretty. be all the colors. I just, just misspelled snap. <laughs> hmm. What's like a... What's like a... I don't know. What's another plant category? Fern. A fern? Mm, Ooh. Ferns are good. Great idea. Aw. That one's like a clover to me in the same way, you know? I agree. They're just so full and like they voluptuous. Are. Easy to take oh. care of. You, you ever walk in the woods and you see those like umbrella plants too? Yes. Those are the same thing as ferns for me. Ferns and the umbrella plants. You're not supposed to because it's mean, but have you ever like ripped all the leaves off of a fern prong? Like just from the bottom up and they all like fly? That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, if you take your nail and you like push up the stem of the fern, all of the leaves will like pop off. That's kind of fun. And it's like fern confetti. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and now it's time in the podcast for our special new segment where we have a caller calling in. <laughs> and by by calling in, I'm calling them. Is this clean? <laughs> I'm. <laughs> no, I know nothing about this. Hello. This is this is our special phone caller. This is Maya. Maya, we're calling to ask you <laughs> what your favorite plant is. Oh no way. 
That's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah, I agree. That's that was a great one. Does Moss get bumped I put that up? as A tier. Oh, it's that was my favorite plant. It was. That was the first plant I said. <laughs> We're not quite on air. This is recorded. <laughs> Thank you, though, Maya, for being our first caller of the podcast ever. <laughs> Bye, buddy. Bye, Maya. All right. Wow, that, that felt so real and exclusive. <laughs> it I'm really gonna, was. I wasn't ready for that. I'm going to hope that the microphone picked that up. Otherwise, we're cutting this whole thing. <laughs> we're here for the authenticity and, and the, the wild ride. That was really good. <laughs> so maybe we should have a, a public poll with like, you know, not this many, but we can have like different plants and people can say what theirs is. It's like a favorite. Yeah, that's a that's good, good idea. What's your favorite? Somebody said we should have a, an Instagram page for our podcast. I don't know how we go about doing that. I don't know either. Well, you're the Instagram expert, so... I don't know if I'm the Instagram expert. I think it's just what I do for my job, because that's where... And you're yeah. very good. <laughs> the Western Herald Instagram looks better than ever. Thank maybe, you. Maybe we'll just, like, post... I don't know. We'll, we'll post things like questions, maybe. Yeah, and we, we totally... Talk about I think that would actually help us engage with our... Our select group of audience. <laughs> yeah. Um, you you send us uh, you send us some fan mail and say whether you want us to have an Instagram. Or not. <laughs> I'm so sending in fan mail. <laughs> uh, that, well, let's see. All right, where were let's we? Let's get back on the plants. Let's get back on these plants. Yeah. Here. What we got is, ferns? What's I think we need more D tier plants. It's like a suck sucky plant. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not a bad, like, poison ivy level, but it's like, oh, it just sucks. Hmm. Begonias. Begonias. Yep, they're a ground cover flower, and they have this, like, squeaky kind of plasticky leaves Ooh. that are just, like, not super pleasant to touch. I don't like that at all. I used to work in a greenhouse, and when we got flats of begonias... And you would like shake the whole thing. They would just like squeak. You're, I didn't know you were a plant expert a little bit. Oh no, yeah, when you guys said we're talking about plants and I was like, that's me. I meant it's it. Perfect. <laughs> this is. I meant it. I worked in a greenhouse for two years in high school. Wow. Yes. Yeah. The perfect can guest. You, can you let us know what the most common plant was to like, I don't know. Did they buy things there? Yeah. Um, we sold like the little flat beds that you like put in your outside garden mm. and we also sold we sold some house plants but it was mostly like outdoor summer plants flowers and stuff okay begonias are very popular because they cover the ground really fast mm-hmm. but they also sunburn like nothing else mm. so people would buy begonias and put them in their sunny little gardens and then oh. they would come back and complain to me that they were dead <laughs> I'd be like, did you put it in the sun? It doesn't go in the sun. <laughs> that is you made your first plant. mistake. <laughs> D plant. Corey, I'm trying to think of this plant. It's a a plant that people put in their gardens a lot. And it, it almost resembles the look of a spider plant, but it has like the the purple shoot like flowers that shoot up out of it. And it it covers. Ooh. And I can't remember what it's called, but I, I do not like them. I think that they're kind of ugly. Mm. I don't. Ooh. I can kind of picture what you're talking about, but at, right after I dub myself as the plant expert. I, I, <laughs> you're like, what are you I talking about? I do not know. Uh-huh. At first I thought you were talking about foxgloves, which are so cool, but not yeah. ground cover. Mm. Um, little purple... I don't know, man. What is that called? <laughs> All right, I'm going to figure it out. All right, you figure it out. Okay. I want to bring up um, dandelions. Dandelions. Weeds. They're a plant. <laughs> Very <laughs> true. There's a plant tier list. Like poison ivy is a weed, maybe. But I think a dandelion is a... Uh, you thinking clover level, like it shouldn't be a weed? Or... 
Do we no. not like dandelions? It's definitely invasive. Like that one, I would actually mm. say is definitely a weed because. But they're so fun. If you let them grow long enough, they get all spiky True. and dangerous, and then they spread like crazy, and like they'll ruin anything that you got going on with their their yellow their yellow petals. True, but I bet all of us as children have been responsible for spreading the dandelion invasion. See, that's where I come back at it too, because I'm like, you gotta make those wishes. It is fun to do that. <laughs> so it's like, you know, thorny invasive species, but also fun. You know, that one could be. I'd, I'd say a C tier. I you have, found it. I I have two. I have two that I remember. Hit me. Let's hear it. Um, Lily of the Valley. I also have a Lily of the Valley tattoo. <laughs> I, it's technically my birth flower. Oh. I hate Lily of the Valley. No way. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're pretty to look at, but they're invasive. That's and true. That's true. There was a garden. Uh, one of the houses I lived in, there was a garden that had a ton of Lily of the Valley, and it was growing up in the sidewalk and everything, and we tried so hard to, like, manage it, and it was just terrible. So I think I just have, like, bad juju with Lily of the Valley. Mm. Um, They're so cute, though. I know. The little bells. They're dainty and, like, pretty, but they're also, like, difficult. They are. I've never had to take care of Lily of the Valley. I know what you mean. They're, they're also, like, very hard to uproot mm. Yeah. if you want them out I of there. I think they're D-tier. Wow. Oh, D-tier. wow. <laughs> okay, I was going to be like, oh, so B or C, D-tier. Okay, I've well, I would experience. argue C because I do have one on my arm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think they're pretty, but they're just, like, so hard. No, I think mm. that's fair. That's fair. Um... It's it's a bunch of flowers also. It's not Lily yeah. of the Valley it's like, centric. Yeah. We've almost fully filled up this tier list. There's, I have one more. Okay, what is it? The one I was trying to describe to Corey it does not look or resemble a spider plant at all. What I was actually thinking was a pothos. No. But a hosta. That would have made more sense. I Hostas. Hostas, like, I think people like them because they do cover very well and they grow. They well, come also back. sunburn like crazy. Yes, and they, they're, like, abundant, but they also, they're just not that pretty to me. It's just like a bush. Ooh, like, yeah. Let's let's make it general then. Let's rank a bush as a thing. You know? <laughs> bush. <laughs> you know? Bushes exist. Topiary folks are topiary fans, I you think. You can make them look like dinosaurs. Yes. Yes. It's a C tier. Yeah. It's like a Yeah, it's a C tier because it depends on whether or not you take care of it and make it look like a dinosaur. Yeah. There's some other interesting C tiers. Like there's the oak in here. There's the cactus. True. There's the calorie tree. Wow. That's amazing. You come up with a crazy good list. This we is really a good have. list. I'm telling you, we gotta publish this in some fashion. We we can publish it. I'll write an editorial. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that'd be so The editorial cool. board's plant rank tier. <laughs> what was the name of this plant? Uh, hostas. Hostas. Uh, hostas Hosta. with the hostas. It is the hostas with the hostas. We have room for one more S tier. Oh my gosh. List. So if you can think of the best plant in existence right now, mm. like even... It goes beyond you like really liking it. It's like, oh, that's just an awesome. That's just awesome. That does that. I'm trying to think. What about something that like produces fruit or like <gasps> something that's important to humankind? Genius like, idea. Like the cacao tree. Mm-hmm. Who doesn't love chocolate? We didn't that's... even talk about any plants or vegetables. Okay, how about all apples trees, apple trees that produce fruit? Fruit-bearing fruit. conifers. <laughs> any fruit-bearing conifer. <laughs> okay. True. Dude, this yeah. is awesome. <laughs> we made a good list, guys. You're going to see this. Can you give us a quick rundown of the list I before can. we go? So let's start from the bottom. The worst plants in existence, we've decided. The peace lily, the poison ivy, Mm -hmm. and industry plants. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, D tier, we have crabgrass, we have succulents, begonias, and lily of the valley. Stand by all of that. (laughs) C tier, we have calorie tree, oak, 
the Monsera, Cactus, Corpse Flower, Dandelion, and Hostis. B tier, we have Clover, Pothos, Pothos, how do you say it? Pothos or Pothos. Um, more of a Logos or Ethos kind of guy. Anyways, <laughs> there's, the, there's the Willow, there's the Maple, the Venus Flytrap, the lily pad, um, the snapdragon, fern, and umbrella plant. And then we move into A tier. And this is where it gets real. Let's hear it. Moss, bonsai, doll. Dahlia. Dahlia. <laughs> <laughs> Birch, aloe, daffodil. These are good. All wonderful. And now, the best plants in the world. Redwood. Fruit-bearing conifers <laughs> and the Obama plant. <laughs> the crowd goes wild for Ooh. Obama plant. <laughs> we've we've decided this. This is this is the list of plants. Yep, we've made the list here on the doghouse. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure this is all the plants. You know, this is them all. <laughs> this is I all don't the even plants. think we like made a dent in all of the plants. <laughs> There's no way. But I do think we came up with a pretty good. There's an outline. List. Plant tier list part two. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Coming soon. <laughs> yeah. Right after the silent episode. Oh my gosh. No silent episode. What is that? You just sit there in silence? <laughs> That's what he wants to do. He wants us I to. I want there to be one episode that gets published and it's a silence episode. Nobody's going to listen to that. Man. Dead air. <laughs> That's the joke. <laughs> I don't think it's the a joke. The FCC would be it's quite a, upset. <laughs> it's funny for me. And that's what matters. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. This is The Doghouse. Thanks for listening. I've been Matt. And this is Khan. And I'm Corey. This was The Doghouse. Welcome back to The Doghouse. And we'll see you next episode for The Doghouse. See you next time. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>